So one of my favorite features of the Gemini AI is that you can use it to convert a very long document into a nice and visually pleasing infographics in just a few minutes. And let me show you how you can do that. So the first thing that you need to do is that you have to prepare the document. And in this case, I'm going to be using this very long document, which is just an AI research that was done by Perplexity. And here I'm going to download the document as a PDF format, but you can also use another format like the OCX and some other formats out there because Gemini is actually supports a lot of popular document formats, not just PDF or the OCX. So you can use that. Now, let me just click the PDF option. Okay, there you go. So the document has been downloaded to my computer. And the next step is that we want to fit this document into Gemini. So here I'm going to use the Gemini desktop version, but you can also use the mobile version and you can adjust the step along the way. And here I'm going to be using the 2.5 Pro model, which is the most powerful model at the moment. And I do recommend to use whatever the best model of Gemini when you are watching this video. And after that, you can click this click upload files and let's select the document so here we want to open this document in the canvas mode you can tell ai that you want to you want it to open this document in canvas and don't forget to enable the canvas mode right here and you can send the message to gemini so just wait until gemini is essentially copying the document into the canvas mode. Now, one thing that I do really like about Gemini is that this is actually one of the largest AI models with the biggest context window. So I think it has 1 million. And in some cases, you could extend it to 2 million in some developer options. But basically, 1 million is what you get on the Gemini app or the Gemini website. It is five times or four times larger than chat so you can upload a very very long document and gemini should be able to understand the whole content from start to finish and basically there is no missing point and if you have a document and you want to make sure that you uh, some important elements are included in the infographics then this one million token feature is very very useful all right it is still reading and still copying the document it might be done in just a few seconds and after this, we can start converting the document into a nice looking infographic. And there you go. So all the content has been exported into the canvas mode. The next step is to click this create button and then select infographic. Okay, now let's address one question. Is this just creating a picture using the image and form model? Well, the answer is no, it is actually not using the image for model because it is not still not very good for rendering text. Instead, it will actually just create a web page that looks pretty and it could come across as an infographic. And I know it is a web page. It is not a proper image. And, you know, it's going to be a bit challenging if you want to share it on social media like Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. But later, I'm going to show you how you can convert this code, uh, how you can render that into a website, and then how you can download that as an image. So it's going to be a lot easier to share. Anyway, it's still creating the code, and uh, I'll just skip forward and show you the next step. All right, so the infographic has been created, and I think it looks great. But remember that you are working with AI and this is the canvas mode in Gemini. So you could always tell Gemini to modify a few things about the design. Like you can tell AI to change the color, add more visual elements and some other things. And in this case, I think I want to make the infographics to be more concise. I think it has too many tags. So let's tell Gemini that I want the content to be more concise. So please make the text more concise and simpler or you know easy to understand and hit enter and just wait again for gemini to modify the things that you want it to change okay so this is the revised version and i can tell that the text is actually much more simplified than the previous version and overall i would say it looks pretty good 
Now, how do you actually share this? Well, maybe you want to click the share button and then you want to uh, click share and then you want to copy the link and you can share it to anyone. Uh, that is definitely one thing that you could do. But again, you are sharing a website, not a picture. And not to mention, there are a few uh, visual distractions like there's going to be this proper picture, the Gemini logo, and also this info, the message at the bottom. Everybody will see that when they are opening the link that you just provided. Now, how about using sort of long scrolling screenshot? I think there are many Chrome extensions and apps on smartphone that allows you to take a screenshot of a page. And basically that's converting the document into a uh, infographic. Well, I actually have done that, but I found that no Chrome extensions that I've tried and the long screenshot feature in Google Chrome on mobile doesn't work for this particular page. I think it has something to do with the way the Gemini page is actually being structured and that's why it is not working. Instead, you have to use this new feature that I think is a lot easier and consistent. Now, let me close this and then just close. So switch to the code and you want to copy all of it. I'm going to just uh, put this cursor anywhere press ctrl a and then you can right click and click copy and then you can open a file explorer on your pc and i'm going to create a new text document let's call this one index and then let's open it right click paste click file and then click save now you can close it and then we have to change the format of this document or, or, or this file from .txt to .html. And the simplest way you can do is by navigating to the view menu if you're using Windows and click file name extensions. And then you can right click on the index.txt, click rename, and let's replace txt with html. And then hit enter and then click yes. Now, you can open it on a regular browser and it should render the design. So this is the result. Now, after you have opened the website, so open the infographic this in this manner, then you can use a Chrome extension like Go Full Page, which is very popular. And by the way, the link will be available in the video description. Now click Add to Chrome, click Add Extension. Okay, so the extension has been installed. I'm going to close this. And let's go back to this infographic again. And here, if you click the extension, like the Go, go Full Page, uh, it might not be able to do so because we have to allow the permission, allow the extension to access the file. Click Extension Settings right here. And click Allow Access to File URLs. Click here. And then you can go back to the infographic and I do recommend to refresh the page. Now you can try clicking the go full page extension again. And this time around, it should be working. It will be scrolling the window and you will get this nice Chrome, uh, actually not Chrome, this nice infographics from the Chrome extension. So you can click the double image button or in case you want to save it as a PDF, you can click this button, but I'm going to select BNG and just click allow. There you go. So we just created this nice infographic using only Gemini AI. And remember, it was looking like this. This is very long document. And then we were able to create an infographic using the web technology via Gemini. So that's how you can do it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.